Welcome to the School of Physics. I'm Stefan Hutzler, I'm one of the professors here, one of about 30 that we have, and I'd like to invite you to see some of our buildings and I tell you a tiny bit of the history of the school. I'm standing here next to the statue that's been erected to commemorate the work of Ernest Wharton, who was a professor here, but he was also a Nobel laureate. He got the Nobel Prize in 1951, together with Cockcroft, for splitting the atom. The statue was designed by the artist Eilish O'Connell, and it's called Apples and Atoms. And it's called Apples because I believe that Walton loved gardening and apples. And I just split one. I'm standing here in the Erwin Schrödinger Theatre, the Schrödinger Theatre, which is our oldest and biggest lecture theatre. Erwin Schrödinger was uh, one of the founding fathers of quantum mechanics, and uh, he taught in here, and Dicker, he gave in 1943 a lecture called What is Life? So in these lectures, Evan Schrödinger, who actually was a Nobel laureate, made connection between the fields of biology, physics and genetics, and uh, this was credited by James Watson and Francis Crick, who discovered the double helix structure of the DNA. Now this stick might be old, but it's not as old as Schrödinger, I believe. I'm very down here, as you can see. But I wouldn't wear this normally in the lectures, it's only in the evening when the fellows go for commons that they wear this kind of garment. I'm standing here inside the Fitzgerald Library, a place not only used for displaying old physical apparatus, but also used to have our small group teaching. Well, Fitzgerald is actually shown on this portrait here, which was made by Jack B. Yates' father. So, another display of, of art in our school. Fitzgerald is maybe best known for what now is called the Fitzgerald Lorentz contraction, which describes that objects shorten if they're moving close to the speed of light. This was something that afterwards was detailed in the theory of special relativity by Einstein. Now we're in the 
teaching laboratory in the Junior Fresh Cheating Laboratory, the first year teaching lab. And uh, you can see a couple of experiments lined up. This is the place where our students perform their first experiments. For example, measuring uh, centrifugal forces with this setup here. Experiments having to do with heat, thermal expansion, and so on and so forth. I will bring you to our computer lab now. Again, it's the undergraduate teaching lab. Computers are more and more important for physics and in these computer labs we tell you how to program and how to solve problems, physical problems, using your computers. This is yet another piece of art meets physics here in our School of Physics, that's the weir feeling structure, the structure of an ideal foam that was discovered back in 1994, and the structure, the sculpture, was built in our workshop, again by, by David Krauss.